Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going surfing for the second time ever. I'm really excited because after the first video that I put out of my first trip surfing at Cocoa Beach, a company reached out to me that is based out of Cocoa Beach. They're called Sons of the Sea Surf School. And it's a father and his sons, and they grew up on the water at Cocoa Beach. They live, breathe, everything surf, and they run this surf school and teach people how to surf from the beginner level all the way up to competitive surfing. And they reached out and said, hey, come surf with us. We'd love to teach you some things and get you out on the water. And so I am meeting up with Baker today and he's going to be giving Sammy and I a surf lesson. Sammy, my friend from England, is still here. So I'm really excited about that. And today is going to be a very beautiful day. I'm hoping to get there in time for low tide. There is a tropical storm blowing in to Florida either today or tomorrow. It is coming in on the west side, but apparently that also has some sort of effect on the waves everywhere because everything is just gonna be a little bit ruffled up. Excited to get out there and surf. Well, before we leave, I am gonna make some water and an electrolyte drink because last time I went surfing, I did not drink enough water or electrolytes and I think I got dehydrated and had a wicked headache the next day. Also introducing the sponsor of today's video, I got these awesome water bottles off of Amazon. This company is called Super Sparrow and I got two really nice aluminum water bottles and these are going to keep my water cold while I'm at the beach because nobody likes to drink hot water and electrolytes and I'm really excited about these. These are one liter bottles. I really like these because there's two options for the lid. So this is just the regular screw on lid and you can drink the bottle like that. Or they have the straw version. So it comes with the straw and you stick it in there and then you can just drink water like that. I also have these just regular ones. So these are super light. I like to use these and bring them to CrossFit and they just have the little pop lid. Oops. This, or you can drink water. These are super nice. And I like how they have a little armband too. I'll probably take these guys hiking with me because these ones are just too heavy, but I like these for the beach because they keep your water and electrolytes cold. And I'm also gonna show you guys today, I've been making a homemade electrolyte drink because I've been wanting to not drink as much Gatorade just because there's a lot of added ingredients in Gatorade that don't need to be there, mostly food dyes. There's like red 40s and blues and all these things. I would still like to get the electrolytes, but less sugar, more healthy whole food sources. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my electrolyte drink Let's go. So what you're gonna need for this electrolyte drink is some coconut water, some tart cherry juice, and this is just the cherries. There's no added anything in this. There's no added anything in this. And a lemon. Cut my lemon in half and then juice it, the whole thing. Okay, so once you have the lemon juice, I just pour some coconut water in there too. And this is gonna make up the most of our drink. So I'm just showing you guys in this cup, I'm gonna pour it in my water bottle. So I'm gonna pour that into here. This is our coconut water and lemon juice mixture. And I'm gonna fill that up to uh, about right here. I'm not making a full liter serving for this. I'm just gonna do about 750 milliliters. And then I'm just gonna shake up my tart cherry juice and do a splash of that for taste. So this has all of the electrolytes that you need. The coconut water has some sodium, some potassium, and some magnesium. And then if you think that you're gonna be sweating a lot or whatever, you could even put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt in here as well. I think I get plenty of salt for my diet and I think with the coconut water, that does it for me. Um, but you definitely need those electrolytes to actually absorb the water into your cells 
and actually be hydrated. Just gonna shake this up really quickly and give it a try. I normally just do everything to taste. Sometimes I'll add more cherry juice, let's see. That's so good. I'm just gonna add some ice cubes in there and I have my electrolyte mix to go. Another good type of juice to put in there is watermelon juice. I don't have that right now, but I've really been loving this tart cherry juice. It's really good for sore muscles and I've been in the gym a lot lately, so that's what I've been adding to my little electrolyte mix. But anyway, let's get all loaded up and head to the beach. This is their setup right here. here and they're set up over here we're gonna work on some stuff out of the water here and um, then get out there the waves are actually kind of big right now they're rolling in but yikes hopefully I can get up I'm riding this 10 foot board a lot bigger than the last one like two and a half hours from here put it on me oh thank you oh yeah now I'm ready to go Bays are small, comparable to, you know, around the world, what people are surfing. You know, it's not 30 foot Costa Rica. It's... Just make sure it's getting you off. Pop up. Boom, you're broke. Right, we just finished with the land lesson now we're gonna go down to the water i'm gonna leave you all here and come back in a little bit to get some footage We're getting stung by a jellyfish. Get a hotel. Right here. Stay with it. Stay with it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Our horse. Yeah, stand up straight. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. You know? Yeah. Woo! All right, we're gonna go in. 
take a little break. That was insane. We went out at low tide. I don't know what time it is, but the tide's starting to come in and the waves are really choppy because there's the storm blowing through. These waves are 10 times as big as the ones I did last time, which I mean, you know, it's not like Hawaii or Sri or anything, but they were huge to me. There's the coach. You ready to rinse off this fresh water, girl? All right, we just rinsed off at the showers. We're gonna go jump in the pool at the Best Western because we can. Are we good? Taking a ride around Cocoa Beach. Baker's showing us where he grew up. Baker and Sammy are gonna go look at some Indian mounds that are apparently around here. So, driving around in the golf cart. Yeah. If you start to like kind of look back in there, you can see it's starting to go up. Yeah. Yeah. My mom's gonna be watching this, shaking her head. Yeah, like you went in the woods with some dude. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so look. See this? Yeah. This All is Indian. Florida, bro. We, we're flat. Yeah. There's, this is... This is something. This is, there's artifacts everywhere. Sometimes you come back here after it rains. Oh, and find like and arrowheads these, and stuff? Yeah. 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 And there's all these uh, pieces of old pottery that break apart. This, all the way through here, it gets higher. Uh-huh. And it goes to how you saw over here, like a higher mound. It runs for two miles that way. Um, that right there. there is likely not a discard mound because discard mounds would have way more oyster shells all around them. Mm -hmm. It's likely a burial mound. Are they protective? Yes. Okay. Illegal. If you and I would have just found a arrowhead or a spearhead, it's illegal for us to keep them. Felony. The same system that made it a felony for you and I to explore public land and, and find an arrowhead. Sure. For over 40 years, they excavated shell mounds with chacos and big bobcats and big equipment and dump trucks. Mm -hmm. They scraped them away. Not these ones, but shell mounds, actual shell mounds. And then shell mounds were where the natives lived for 500 years or so and they discarded all their fish bones their shells and all that kind of stuff yeah and they would pile it up high to make areas that were high in, in the case of flooding huh. and those discard mounds some of them are you know were show that so that the people lived there lived there for like a thousand years or yeah years or wow that's but, crazy but those shell mounds after kicking it with baker we found a place to stay for the night all right, just booked a room at the La Quinta after surfing, I'm so tired. Um, we're gonna get in this room and then find something to eat. I can't barely open my eyes because there's so much salt water in my contacts. All right, y'all, we got showered and now we're walking to 4th Street Fillin Station. I went there last time. Sammy found some good things to eat there, so I really like that place, so I'm excited about going back, but. Might be kind of cool to walk through. One thing I love about Florida is how wild it feels. This little preserve is only a few acres in the middle of the city, but there's so much life in nature in just this small area. The wildlife, plants, and overall ecosystem is just so fascinating and beautiful. And there's our hotel right back there. Apparently you can access this whole little trail system right from where we're staying. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, look! Oh my gosh, yes! Hello, turtle. Hello, turtle. Hello, turtle. Hello, turtle. Hello, turtle. Hello, turtle. Hello, and I decided to walk into downtown and grab some breakfast. We're going to Surfinista to get some acai bowls. Dudes, we are headed home from weekend in Cocoa Beach. Surfing was so amazing. Make sure to check out Sons of the Sea Surf School if you are on the east coast of Florida and you want to learn how to surf and you want to get up on your board a bunch for the first time. Um, Baker is an amazing teacher and we just had so much fun with him and they just really know what they're doing. Those guys know that water better than anybody in the whole surrounding area. And we had a, a lot of fun hanging out with him and Brittany and Darren. So thank you guys so much for such an awesome time. But we are gonna head back to Central Florida. There's actually a, another hurricane coming our way. And it's kind of the same as Hurricane Ian. It's headed for Tampa, but last time Ian was headed for Tampa and the wind shifted and then it hit us head on. So I'm gonna go home and do some hurricane prep and hopefully all is well with that. But I will see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in for this week's episode. Love you guys and stay safe out there.